iOS 11 developer beta 4 has been released for your iPhone and iPad in this video we're gonna find out what's new coming up right now let's go So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iOS 11 developer beta 4 review video. So this is the fourth edition of the developer betas. It should be the public beta 3 coming soon, going to get the similar features, but I'm excited about this one because we get quite a few new features in this one. Before we go ahead and update it, let's go to about here and show you the storage that I am running here so far. So 98.55 gigabytes available and this is on the iOS public beta 2 15a 5318g we're going to go into developer beta 4 right here but before we do that let me go ahead and run a geekbench here on the 6s plus to see if we get a better score in the upcoming you know ios 11 developer beta 4 so let me go ahead and run this i'll be right back quickly and then we'll hop into the latest edition all right guys so we scored a 2550 here on the single core and a 4465 on the multi-core here for public beta 2 let's go back into the settings now and update this guy into ios 11 developer beta 4 and talk about all of the new features in this update here so i'll be right back when we're in ios 11 developer beta 4. so guys you can see we are now updated to ios 11 developer beta 4 and here's one of the new features right away is on the notifications on the lock screen you can go ahead and view it by swiping to the left you can go this way to open it and you also do have another tab up here you can see right here it does say clear so you can go ahead and clear like this and let's say we're going to view this right here it's going to show that right there and also it will ask you for your touch id passcode to get into your home screen from the notification tray so notifications are simpler here in ios 11 beta 4. okay guys so let's check the storage here now on ios 11 beta 4. so you can see right here i do have a capacity of 128 gigs and you can see that's a little bit different from before in that they don't longer show what ios took up they now just show you the capacity of your phone and kind of put it all in here and available so i got 100.27 gigs available so this definitely did give me back some space and i like to see that in addition to that there are a couple of new icon changes here in developer beta 4 such as the notes icon this is a little bit different in the way it looks the wi-fi toggle up here is also a little bit thicker than it was before in addition to that we do have a couple of other icons such as the contacts icon right here that is a new icon right here look and feel on the new ios 11 beta 4 also one more reminder so if i go to reminders you can see reminders is now a little bit different now this might actually be a bug because if you look the dots are actually to the right of the icon so i'm sure they're going to get fixed and they're going to put it back on the left side but for now that's the way those new three icons look here in ios 11 beta 4. Also in beta 4, you can now refresh the updates tab. So no more force quitting with the updates tab. So that's a nice thing to see there. Another minor change in iOS 11 developer beta 4, if you go into the settings, let's go back here and let's go back and back one more time. You can see the account and password icon is slightly tweaked. So they turned the key instead of the horizontal way, they turned it vertical. So that key right there is a little bit different. Also, if we go into general, there is now an airdrop feature right here in general so now you can control airdrop straight from general and settings instead of just doing it through the control center down here on this iphone for example so that's a nice thing to see there also if you do a screen recorder there is now a countdown timer so if we hit the screen record you could see that countdown timer inside of the screen recording so that's a nice new feature here as well and other than that it pretty much remains the same as the previous betas i think it is a little bit smoother here and it should be a little bit smoother but as with all the betas you know if you had a previous beta there was bugs in there this one comes out it squashes some of the old bugs but at the same time it brings back more bugs such as potentially that reminder icon that i was talking about that just don't look right and i don't think that's going to remain the same as the official release does drop now i do have to go ahead and run that geekbench one more time so we can see the score so let me go to geekbench here and let me run this one more time to see if we improved in our score so i'm gonna run this benchmark and i'll be right back 
So guys, here are the results. 2538 on the single core and 4431 on the multi-core here for iOS 11 developer beta 4. So it looks like it did go down a little bit here in the geek bench scoring, but that's pretty much it there for that. And that's pretty much it here for iOS 11 developer beta 4. Now those are all the new features. I kind of mentioned them here. Like I say, new icons. We do have the new Wi-Fi signal. We do have the screen recording countdown timer, updates, refresh tab, notification changes when you go into the lock screen you can now clear and view so nice update to notifications going into the app store you can update the updates tab so you can refresh it basically and should you download it well it's about a 350 megabyte download if you got the space and you already had the balls and courage to go ahead and put a developer beta on your device or a public beta i would say go for it you know make sure you do a backup as always so you don't lose any of your important files and uh yeah that's gonna wrap it up here for me if you enjoyed this video do me a favor click that like button for me subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this nick here helping you to master your technology i will catch you all in future episodes be sure to be well and peace